Hi Aries, welcome to your fortnightly forecast with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign, Aries, it's for you. Remember, there's no astrology, so check them out for all three so that you know which part of you I resonate with most as a reader. With that said, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the fortnight, you have... Dun, dun, dun. All right. The Emperor. All right. Nice. So this is you in your own energy. The Emperor is you after all. So what this suggests is you are really bringing the energy back to yourself this fortnight, right? So wherever you are, whoever you're celebrating with, this is about you really commanding your space, your environment, and just kind of making sure that you take some time for yourself. I actually think this is a good thing. And when we show up in our own reading, it puts us in a position of power, right? So this puts you over this the course of this fortnight as we're winding down the year. I think this is going to be you really reflecting on how you have moved through this this year and more importantly how you want to move forward right what it is that you want to start what it is that you want to really set up i actually think this is you probably checking in with yourself in a way that maybe you haven't for a while now for your actions and options you've got the two of wands beautiful energy um, now this is a great card because it suggests that this fortnight you really are paying attention to the steps that you're planning to make and the moves that you're wanting to set forward the other thing with the two of uh, uh, two of Wands. This card actually very often represents uh, affluent people, places and situations. And because you've got it with the Emperor, this will see you really starting to understand how or who you need to rub shoulders with in order to move ahead in the new year. Now, in terms of the options that are available to you, this will be a week that or this fortnight actually is going to require a, probably quite a lot of weighty decisions for a lot of you. When it comes to your communications and conversations, you have the two of uh, two of swords. So, excuse me. What do we see here? You've got two twos. Two twos represents a bond, a pact, or an accord. So remember what I was saying just before about this being a week of a fortnight of big decisions. This definitely is the case. There's some kind of big choice that's going to need to be made this week. Now, the Two of Swords can also show up as opposition, right? So you've got this in your communication sector. Be very mindful about the conversations that you have over the next two weeks, especially when it comes to money, finances and resources. And maybe some of your personal... Um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Yeah, maybe some of your, your personal sort of steps, right? Like the way that you move forward with things. Uh, because it is the Two of Swords, I would also be very conscious here about, there's something in this about right and wrong, and I kind of feel like this might be a conversation that you need to have with yourself, like, and this feels like in terms of like the, the level of retaliation, there's something in this, like if, you know, it's kind of like the difference between like if someone taps you on the shoulder and then you punch them in the face, that's not an equal response. It doesn't make any sense, right? So there's something here about checking your own intentions. Now, when it comes to your um, those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this I actually think is about you thinking in terms of the teachers, the lecturers, the students, like who you are aligned with and what that actually says about you and how it's helping you step forward or not. If you're employed by somebody else, this, it looks to me like there's an alliance forming within the workplace. And I think there's a lot of you that are starting to understand, you know, maybe I don't have to, to pick a side. And if I do, what is it, what, you know, what is it going to mean going forward? For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, there's something in this about uh, a partner, business partner, friend, uh, collaborator, that you're seeing in a very different light over the next fortnight. Um, and I think that's because this week you're going to get very inquisitive about something. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, all forms of partnerships come up for review this week. When it comes to your love and relations, you've got the Five of Swords. I'm really sorry to say this, but it does look like there's potentially some sticky points of this fortnight. Now, we are coming into the holiday season. 
tensions always run high at this time. Some people love it, some people loathe it. Whichever way it is, everybody's emotions tend to be sky high at this time. So keep that in mind as you move forward. Now, if you're single um, and you are sort of meeting or connecting with somebody or, you know, there's that kind of potential love energy in the air, I would be I would be mindful about this. And the reason I say that is because the Five of Swords does suggest that maybe there's a bit of friction that comes up here but it's not friction that comes from the the partnership or the potential partnership it's one that comes from maybe and maybe this is the thing with the friend that I'm seeing right there's something here where someone is maybe not necessarily happy for you or is being a bit of a shit stirrer quite frankly uh, and then when it comes to those of you that are partnered married or in long-term commitments your five of swords can be arguments challenges issues and disputes now because you've got this with the two twos bonds packs accords etc there is something about the relationship that you're going to see this fortnight where you have to kind of acknowledge that some change will need to happen and it's almost like if it doesn't happen you know things will unravel fast from there next year is going to be a very fast year compared to 2023 Make no mistake, do not sleep on it, all right? Now, before we get into your money and materials, remember your year ahead astro taroscopes are up and out there for your purchasing pleasure. You can get those on the link in the description box below. Your new year, new frequency products are up and out there for your purchasing pleasure. Trust me, there is nothing like this out there. I'm super, super proud of it. It's one of the best things I've ever created. Unfortunately, all of the discount codes are gone now. Um, I did say, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. So you need to jump in. So you can get that on the link in the description box below. Uh, for your money and materials, you've got the star card, right? So not only are you potentially getting gifts and presents of money, cold hard cash, baby, uh, but the star card suggests that whatever partnerships, conversations or plans you are setting into motion, they have a very good um effect on your future finances or the future of your personal resources the star card is the future right and so this fortnight what you're talking about or what you're getting a glimpse of is how your money is likely to grow and what you potentially need to do differently in order to have that happen for those of you that are sorry when it comes to your physical health and vitality the star card tends to show up as the nervous system all right so you just want to make sure you're really looking after and supporting yourself in that way uh, and then when it comes to your home and environment don't be surprised if you get some kind of new tech or new gadget over the next couple of weeks um, i will say if you are purchasing this my, my advice to you would be, because it's a Mercury retrograde, wait until after the 4th of January, right? If you need to, if you absolutely need something and it's technological, especially if it's like for the home, buy uh, secondhand, all right? Because you're likely, A, to get a really good deal um, and B, you're working with the energy of the Mercury retrograde. With that said, whatever you do or don't celebrate from my heart to yours, thank you so much for all of your support throughout 2023 uh, and beyond for those of you that have been with me even longer. It really does mean the absolute world, whether you celebrate Yule, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa or Christmas. I really do hope you have a wonderful time of year um, and I really wish you all of the best. Thank you for all of your support and your love. Take care and I'll see you soon.